like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars that's why we kept the oil here because the oil too is hearing the salmon i want to show you a mystery it is this revelation that makes deliverance a mystery from part one to three to four this is where we are coming to now listen and pay attention and let me tell you i want to show you how i was delivered get ready for my i want to show you what worked for me i am a testament of this i would never be where i am today until god himself revealed this by his spirit and i want to show you complete deliverance complete deliverance I, truly i came with my heart open i cried to god and i said lord this, this thing has to go everybody shout it is finished shout it again it is finished this is jesus speaking not angel michael it is finished so he gave me access that it is possible oh look how healing this is Ejimi, did you know look some of you here as i'm talking now you are just thinking of the mess in your background that you have been crying and say lord it's just more deliverance i need hold on some of you here have counseled you you come from backgrounds where your parents were priests directly not that they went to priests directly there are territories here that were dedicated to all kinds of devilish idols. It is finished. I found this years ago. I told you about demons oppressing me. This simple scripture you see, when God shined it in my spirit, I was reading a book really. That's where it came from. But I said, Lord, I, I, I don't know, but this is what I'm seeing. And then God broke this thing down that I'm about to show you. Sit down sit down let's learn we're going to pray experiencing complete deliverance the first thing i want to talk about quickly and then i will show you the three ways is i want to teach you the legal system of the kingdom very quickly the realm of the spirit is a legal realm please listen carefully the the realm of the spirit is a legal realm Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2. Mighty God. 26 and verse 2. Read with me. As a bird by wandering. And as the swallow by flying. Uh -huh, so the curse. Causeless. Underline causeless. Shall not come. Meaning if there is no cause for it. It should not have come. If you ever saw any limitation in your life, there is a system of authorization. Because there is a law in the spirit that when a thing does not have a reason to come, it does not come. So the barrenness, the failure, everything has a reason. A curse, causeless, cannot come. If it ever came, something authorized it. There is the legal system of the kingdom redemption as we know was done on legal grounds jesus did not just come the bible says the soul that sinned it shall die is a law god himself had to submit to that law are we together it says without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins so the son of god did not just become a man and came to the world no the bible says by one man sin entered so it could not take a spirit to save men it had to be a man jesus had to be a man i want you to see the legalities that the son of god went through are we together jesus had to be 30 years to start his ministry because in jewish custom if you were less than 30 you were not considered a man so it wasn't about his spiritual life he had to wait and go through it until he was 30. Jesus could just fall from the sky. Like Elijah, that people say, Elijah the Tishbite. 
But Jesus had to grow in a woman's womb and was born and cried and could die and grew from a young baby to a young child, teenager, adult, and all of that. He passed through it. There is a legal system in the kingdom. Let me show you something. Isaiah 41, verse 20 and 21. The verse of emphasis is 21. Isaiah 41. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Read 21 for me. One, two, read. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks to me like a lawyer's language. This is the Lord speaking. Produce your cause. Bring the legal terms. Bring before me. So Abel said, I will produce my cause. And the blood went to heaven and said, God, have you not said whoever destroys man, whoever kills by the, lives by the sword shall die by the sword? I did not live by the sword and now somebody has slain me. My blood was cried and God came and said, Cain, your brother's blood is crying. And he said, am I my brother's keeper? I said, don't talk that nonsense. Blood is crying. The legal system of the kingdom. God, as kind as he is, is teaching us how to make him bless us. And he said, when you pray, ask me to give you this day our daily bread. Otherwise, you will never eat it. This is God. Son of man, say to these dry bones, I'm waiting for you. If you don't say it, it may never happen. The dry bones did not move at the word of God. It moved at the word of God through the mouth of a man. He says, say to this dry bone. The dry bone, ah, you are now talking. No. Bring forth your strong, how many reasons? Bring forth your strong reasons. Why you think you should be the first graduate in your family. Bring forth your strong reasons. As to why you think that you should not fail in life. Look at me. You saw people went to school and the devil taught them like a lion. Bring forth your strong reason. Why you are the last born in your family and you believe that like Joseph, you are the one who will feed them. Bring forth your strong reason. I, when I saw this years ago, I said, my God, Shalakatokaya. Bring forth your strong reason. Don't just sit down and think it will happen. There is the legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. So let me teach you three steps now. Number one. You want to experience complete deliverance. Your first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. And all the demonic powers over your life. Or your family. Or your church. Or your destiny. Whatever it is. The first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. Break the legal hold. A curse causeless shall not stand. Barrenness causeless shall not come. Failure causeless shall not come. Delay causeless shall not come. If it is there, something is authorizing it. Your first assignment is to break the legal ground. This is where, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the powerful mystery of the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, my precious blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, eternal saving blood. Listen. When you are about to face the gates of darkness as a final onslaught, there is no other weapon that you can carry. The first weapon for true victory is the mystery of the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Five scriptures very quickly. Matthew 26 verse 27 to 28. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 27 to 28. 
and he took the cup and gave thanks and he gave it to them saying drink ye all of it 28 for this is my blood of the new testament the blood is done is what is shed for many why for the remission remission so a system has been initiated in the spirit remission the word remission means to blot out Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7 Ephesians 1 verse 7 then we we'll look at Colossians 1 14 read with me please one to read in whom we have redemption how so how does redemption happen please talk to me redemption redemption through the blood the forgiveness of sins it didn't say the forgiveness of your sins it doesn't matter whether it's your sins our fathers have sinned there is a system i used to think he said forgiveness of your sin no there is a mystery of atonement notice for those of you who cast out demons sometimes you see those they just shout and talk i won't go I won't. no 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 the blood for the forgive whatever ill to see means to miss the mark whatever happened around my life whatever happened around my lineage that authorized darkness there is a system of atonement according to the riches of his grace 1 verse 14 Colossians Colossians 1 verse 14 once again in whom we have redemption through his blood even the what I hope you know there is a law in the spirit that when you see the travail in the soul of your offender your heart will be appeased look at this come Sheung. if Sheung steals my handkerchief and they catch him my satisfaction is in his punishment is that true as they punish him i now feel appeased if they don't punish him i feel bad so the bible says he shall see the travail of his soul who is the he not jesus man in christ because it was at the point of exchange we offended the father and according to this law there is a requisite level of punishment that must have peace the heart of the offender and jesus said instead of you and your father let me stand in for you so while they beat him and blood came out the father watched took his face away and then the bible tells us that he was seeing the travail that means the yoke and the ordinances that they did remember they murdered missionaries in your village and ordinarily until these things happen and they kill everybody based on that because their blood cries but then god in heaven will see those who offended the grandfathers that made the cause to come upon the family in christ the travail and the father says that's enough i set you free it is finished redemption to his blood even so there is a kind of redemption called the forgiveness of sins that your wrongs your sins if sins are forgiven then the consequences they bring are also forgiven and the authorizations they give is also forgiven are we together revelation chapter 5 just follow me closely jesus grant us grace tonight we have to be fast revelations 5 9 and 10 quickly please revelations 5 9 and 10 and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof uh -huh. for thou was slain and has redeemed us unto god how by your blood out of every kindred and every tongue and every and every these are the four realms where causes exist look at this please go back to verse 9 
out of every kindred, every tongue, every people, every nation. Everything was covered. We were redeemed by his blood. I hope you know that God ensured that Satan participated in the death of Jesus. That was the only way that the blood of Jesus could hunt him. When Cain killed Abel, who did Abel's blood hunt? So whoever killed Jesus is the person who the blood of Jesus should hunt. Had they known this, they would not have crucified. Who are the day? Satan alongside the principalities and powers satan god made sure in his wisdom that they all participated in the death of the son of the living god and then verse 10 he says he has made us a kingdom of priests unto our god that we reign on earth the last scripture revelation chapter 12 and verse 10 to 11 popular scripture And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now is come salvation and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of the, not the heathen, the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Next verse and they he had been cast down but to appropriate the benefit of what has happened they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony they overcame him they overcame him they overcame him they overcame him by the blood of the lamb listen listen the moment the mercy of God steps in, I've told you this. The moment the mercy of God steps in over an issue, my brother, my sister, listen to me. You know that card they call end of discussion. It truly is end of discussion in the spirit. The moment the blood factor comes in, notice that when the blood was put on the lintel of the people, it had nothing to do with their personal belief in God's deliverance. The moment the angel of death saw blood, even if it was Pharaoh, if Pharaoh's son entered one of those rooms where there was blood, he wouldn't have died. Even if he was cursing God from the room. The same stiff-necked people that cursed God later on were in that room. But because there was a covering of the blood, so every time we engage the blood many believers don't know how to engage the blood to engage the blood is not just to shout i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood alone are we together it looks like it's drizzling or rain also please if it is just let the people find a way of stationing them around we're, we're about to pray so we'll find a way of making it happen are we together now everybody say the blood so the first mystery that brings deliverance is the blood. When I had this revelation, I began to pray. And let me tell you, that was when I found the mystery of Psalm 51. They gave you that scripture. Psalm 51 was something that I forgot about that scripture many years. It was this year that God reminded me again. Psalm 51. Please give it to us. Our time is gone. Let's see how we can do justice have mercy upon me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression too let's just run it wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin three for i acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me four against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Listen, let me tell you. You can carry your family and in covenant stand as you make. This is not just about one man. It can be one business. It can be one family. It can be one church. Many believers will not believe this. 
that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when, when thou judgest. Verse 5. You can read it down, down, down. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. And you read this scripture and cry the mercy of God. Listen to me. Nineveh was a land that was so depraved. When God sent Jonah, Jonah said, God, I'm not going. He said, I know you. I know you. I want to allow this thing remain so that you will be angry and curse these people. I know that if I talk to them, you are merciful. They will now repent and you will act as if they didn't do anything that warranted punishment. And he ran away. He ran away for a justifiable reason. There was something about God that he knew. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is slow to anger. So if my father or my mother went to sacrifice a baby and drain the blood to send me to school, and now there is a spirit that stands on legal ground, I can stand before God and knock on the door of mercy and say, Lord, I know that the soul that sins, it shall die. But do men die twice? Is it not appointed one for man to die? And after that, the judgment. And Lord, your son has died. And what judgment? No one condemns you if you are in Christ. And you stand on that legal ground. And God says, done. Done. It may have been 30 years, but done. Lord, I went to a herbalist myself because I was looking for a wife or husband. Lord, I went by myself. I wanted to pass exams. I went to Zaria City. I went and did this and that. Lord, I know that I did all of this. And you stand before him. And then the blood speaks. Every time the father sees the blood, Satan sees judgment. Every time you point the blood, to plead the blood does not mean to chorus it like a charm. To plead the blood means to bring to remembrance. It's not just saying, I plead the blood. To plead the blood is a revelation. Bring to the Father's remembrance the substitutionary work of Christ. And that the blood, the sinless blood of his eternal son that was given in exchange for my deliverance. Mm. That's the first thing I did. And that's the first thing anyone must do. If all you keep doing is in the name of Jesus, I'm free, you're in trouble. Pleading the blood entails a broken and a contrite heart. You see, let me tell you, there is a level of repentance that brings the hand of God to a man. It's not this arrogant, I plead the blood, Lord, just get up and break 250 years yoke of killing people in my, in my village in the name of Jesus. After all, you died. No. A broken, there is an attitude that makes the blood effectual. Are we together? The fact that the Bible says we should come boldly does not mean it says we should come arrogantly. Lord, I stand before you and I know that on my own I will never be able to make it. I watch my mother cheat people. I watch my father cheat people. I watch my siblings cheat people. Somebody lost a job because of his wickedness. It is true that as a family we deserve this. But Lord, I stand on behalf of my family. If my people, which are called by my name, although they are called by my name, it is not automatic. They must humble themselves and pray. And seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then will I hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And I said, Lord, it's a deal. And I cried. I would never forget that night. Lord, let your grace and your mercy speak for me. My grandfather served you until he died. Even on his deathbed, he died for Jesus. In your anger, remember mercy. Lord, if you leave me the way I am, I will never make it in life. Lord, can the dead praise you? Let me show you how people touch the heart of God. Lord, if you take my life now and you allow witchcraft kill me, like it killed everybody in my family, can the dead praise you? Lord, if I give birth to children out of witchcraft, you are presenting your strong reasons. Lord, is it not you that has said you are a merciful God? I stand before you without argument. 
and God arises from heaven many believers do not know how to touch the mercy of God it was the psalmist that will write everything he did on behalf of Israel and say they should make a poem out of it let us with a glad soul mind praise the Lord he said for his mercies endure is ever faithful is ever sure he will even say Sila think about it I didn't go to God with a bold face as a man of God to say God let me tell you something my grandfather was a pastor I love you I, 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 I don't drink beer I stand before you in my self-righteousness is that pride that kill people someone must go down on his knees and say Lord a cause causeless shall not stand there is a reason why we are failing in this family there is a reason why doors are not opening in this family and Lord I stand before you who else will I run to oh God will you let men see be like the saints of old they knew how to talk to God Lord will the living will the dead praise you if you pay me if you do this do you want them to say you brought people out of Egypt but could not take them to the promised land and the Bible will say God repented have you heard that he said come let us reason together that tonight someone can say God will the unrighteous and the righteous receive the same reward what then is the value of your blood and you would think you are joking and God is listening to you Lord is it a crime that I came from the north must I fail the failure is it a crime that I'm an Igbo man must I fail that failure is it a crime I came from a Muslim background now I'm born again it is true that I went to all kinds of Alpha and the rest but Lord will I receive the recompense of sinners bring before him your strong reason and cry for his mercy I did that you appropriate the mercy of God in your life number two in complete deliverance you cannot downplay the power of words write it down the power of words your words are a vital tool in establishing the victory of Christ over your life and situation Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 please let's hurry up i already sense fire burning in this place we'll do this thing very fast and we'll pray mm. matthew chapter 12 verse 37 jesus said unto him matthew 20 chap chapter 12 12 verse 37 matthew 12 verse 37 for by thy words Thou shalt be justified. I will tell you what words. It's not any words. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. You know what the words are? Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Let those who have become benefactors of his blood make that announcement in the realm of the spirit that Satan you heard my conversation with the king of glory and it is unto him i have sinned and he has decided to show me mercy therefore i decree and declare that in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare that i'm free from all of these chains the bible says declare ye. it looks simple we make declarations without appropriating the blood and the mercy of god when it has to do with deliverance the blood opens the door and then your words you sound that word to principalities and powers words there's a reason why there was an echo it is finished Jesus didn't have to say it he said it for a reason and the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom there is a new and living way that we can step in I remember the Lord asking me to speak and say son begin to speak and denounce yourself from every walk of darkness and I began to pray I've obtained mercy I blot myself out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against me in the name of the Lord Jesus I obtained forgiveness I've been called out of every tongue I thought it was a joke until my life began to change 
in a remarkable way words are powerful for with the heart you believe and if you believe the blood speaks for you then with the mouth confession will be made you don't keep quiet the redeemed of the lord speak the righteousness that is of faith speaks and then number three complete deliverance the ministry of the anointing yes sir yes sir the anointing luke chapter 4 17 to 21 let's look at how jesus announced his deliverance ministry the messianic prophecy and there was delivered to him the book of prophet isaiah and when he opened the book he found the place where it was written 18. please let's hurry up the spirit of the lord he's about to deliver now and he's showing us so before anything the spirit of the lord is upon me because he had helped me anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to preach the, the to heal the brokenhearted he had anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives he has anointed me to recover sight to the blind he had anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised 19. he had anointed me to preach the acceptable year of the lord 20 we are reading to 21 and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 and he began to say unto them this day when talk to me this day say this day that means from today don't be surprised when you see people free is what he was telling them he said i just read it meaning if you see demons flying it's because an anointing is upon me and today that ministry starts this is what jesus was telling them he opened the book and showed them he said i'm showing you from the book so you are not surprised when you see a woman bound for 18 years all of a sudden free this day i have come as a fulfillment of that scripture today somebody's this day because the book has been opened it is this day the day the book is open that's your this day the spirit of the lord because he had anointed me anointed me isaiah 10 27 isaiah 10 27 this day this day this day and it shall come to pass when notice that everything happens in a day it shall come to pass in that day what day the day your faith chooses that day the bible says if you if you hear his voice this day there remaineth a rest for the people of god that his burden shall be taken away somebody will come and carry it away that means it never will belong to you again notice two things that will be taken a burden and a yoke and the bible says and his yoke from off thy neck he say and the yoke mashana katoska barakatosh the yoke shall be destroyed not because you are tired of it because of the anointing there is an exact anointing that breaks yoke it didn't say because of an anointing there is a particular anointing now let me tell you this not every anointed man can deliver you this is what i want you to get there is the anointing an exact kind of anointing just because a man of god prayed for you i'm telling you this believe me there is an anointing specifically ordained by god the same way there is an anointing that prospers the same way there is an anointing that heals there is a dimension of the anointing that is allocated for detonating yokes 
like a bomb that is supposed to scatter somebody that was put by a wicked man somewhere and you come and do something to it and then it becomes like toy like a piece of paper how do you know you are delivered strange results instant results instant open doors let me tell you deliverance is one of the things that happen instantly my life changed like day and night if i did ministry without this encounter i would have been in for a rude shock i found it that there was a burden on my neck there was a yoke a burden on my shoulder and a yoke from my neck i remember going to my village and passing around and seeing well-meaning people poor people i saw how hard working my father was very honest man one of the most honest people i know in my life yet doors refused to open this man will rise up like this and crash as if god does not exist they were the ones who trained us in the way of the lord i never saw my father carry one bottle of alcohol not once my mother served god she was so innocent she didn't know anything about witchcraft it was nigerian film that made my mother know that there was something like witchcraft she was that innocent yet nothing changed but when i engage the blood and i make decrease and this anointing fell from heaven are we together now you see why i said they should keep these bottles here it's not just because of a ritual let me tell you except god did not send me when this oil touches your head many of you will step into instant visions instant visions listen you will you will see things all of a sudden you will start seeing things that had happened before and god will tell you this is where it started the same way you go to bed hold it for me remember while you were doing your prayers some of you kept seeing yourself you were seeing where your problem started from secondary school going back seeing a lot of things look at the attack that happened some of you all through while you prayed you never saw anything good night after night because satan is a master of the flesh realm i told you to just continue and don't mind him the yoke shall be destroyed i remember that anointing oil when i bought it that night i left it open in the presence of god i played benny Hinn worship from night from from morning till night soaking everything through my rechargeable and when i did that thing i was shaking like a leaf i knew there was like a physical mist in my room and all of a sudden i carried that oil when that oil touched my head that was it i didn't even know where i was again alone in that room i woke up many hours with strange visions from that encounter the revelations of ministry i started writing like a madman all of a sudden doors see let me tell you do you know that everything that you have prayed for was answered but hijacked by the time this door is open is an avalanche things would look let me tell you the truth i'm not joking you will see people within a short time a lady that nobody has a business of saying i want to marry you the bible says that how many people will come to you i know it was speaking about men but all of a sudden a brother that was ordained to be your husband but this wicked spirit will blind and make sure that they don't see you by the time this yoke is taken that brother goes to bed this night and god says what are you waiting for your wife has been before you for 10 years the helper of your destiny standing and watching you like this but there had been a decree never help him and you find out you will bring a friend two of you will come to plead for assistance they will help the friend and leave you there are some of you here 
with the kind of anointing God gave you, you should never be small. But you are even wondering why. I never call for people to come and they come. Something drives them. It was Bishop Oyedeko who was saying when Living Faith Church started, as anointed as he was and he is, their heavens were closed and they were fasting and praying. And the Spirit of the Lord told him, come out. And he came out and he looked. And according to him, he said, he saw something that looked like a dark, a thick layer of dark cloud. And the Lord told him, this is the blindfolding layer that the devil put in the eyes of people to misrepresent what you are doing. And then he told him to command it. And he declared that a light shines in darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. And he said that the, the thing just folded like that. And he produced a poster with testimonies and wrote, come and see. That was it. Living faith took another dimension till tomorrow. When I caught this revelation, that was when I saw that publicity was spiritual. At the point I said it, people thought it was a joke. I don't mean to brag. I'm not saying posters are wrong. You go around this city, you are not going to find one poster. But we will shift a meeting just by a simple announcement. Shift it and people will come. You try that and tell people shift it and people say, ah, that's it, I found a reason. There is an anointing. When the yoke breaker comes and sits and his weight rests upon your life, I'm telling you, anything that is not him must give way. Are you ready to pray now? Rise up on your feet. Oh, oh. Jesus please pray in the name of Jesus I declare that tonight is my night I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross it must be appropriated in my life tonight therefore I declare that every yoke, every spell, every curse, every ordinance speaking against me and against my loved ones, tonight I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray.
the sin associated with my lineage I declare that every mistake of the past I plead the blood over it lift your voice and plead the blood the ordinances of the fathers Jesus, I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that everything that the devil has taken away from us, we command that it must return tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Everything. Come on, believers, pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. You spirit. Behind the tragedies in my life. Say every spirit. Behind the failures in my life. Behind the delay in my life. Behind every retrogression. Behind every closed door. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight. Your legal hold. Is broken by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit behind the circles of failure. The spirit behind the circles of defeat. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen to me. Please let me plead with you. I know that you can see that it's past nine. Please. I know today's service may take a few minutes, but I'm pleading with you for the sake of your destiny. Just be patient with me and let's address this thing this night. Are we together? Please don't let the devil. Many of you will find out right now that you are having the urge to just go. It's a spirit. It's because the spirits are about to be challenged. You may come with someone now as I'm talking. He wants to ease himself. He wants to cough. It's a lie. It's a spirit. I'm about to challenge something now. Hallelujah. Now, listen. This is what will happen. I'm going to pray on this oil. Please listen to the instruction, everyone. Those online, just get a bottle of oil so that while I'm praying, you can connect. If you are with your family members, get a bottle of oil. Even if they are sleeping, just touch their head. Please make sure everybody is touched by this oil. Are we together? If you have faith and you think you will not be embarrassed, you can even, the little oil that is in your hand, you can just place it on your stomach. Ladies, prophetically, you are touching your children unborn to say, no devil, no devil. John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. 
Are we together? Praise the Lord. By the time, by the time this oil, we are going to be fast. Now, because of the way it is, um, we are going to station, I believe, are there tables around outside? Or if there are not tables, at least there are, there, are, there are people who will stand. Now, this is what you will do. Please, we are going to coordinate. It's going to be very fast. There might be people falling under the anointing. We'll just help them. Please manage, help the usher so we don't injure anybody. Now, what I want you to do for me, please, just obey instructions. By the time we bless this oil, just a little of it, touch it on your head. If you have a little one, you can touch it on their head and then go back to your seat and start blasting in tongues till we are done. Don't pray anything in understanding. Are we together? Just go back to your seat under the anointing or not. Just find somewhere and pray in the spirit. And by the time I'm done, I'm going to lead us into some serious spiritual prayers and speak over our lives. And then you will go to bed. And let's watch the God of heaven surprise you. Are we together? Please, anything that can spoil, carry it out of the way. Please, let's be fast. Father, in the name of Jesus, you anointed me. And Lord, it is time for your people to rise. This is ordinary oil. But in the name that is above all names, the Lord is asking me to put my hands in all the oils. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put my hands prophetically upon every one of this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let it be an extension of the grace that comes with this office. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place my hand upon this oil. Father, we have had many anointing services in this place. But in the name that is above all names, I command this anointing oil to carry the yoke-breaking anointing. Let it carry the anointing for strange and total deliverance. Whoever must die as a result of this prayer as this oil comes upon your head except God did not send me a sword of judgment will search for them and bring them to the grave if there is any physical agent that has held your destiny and said for as long as I'm alive you will not move people of God I stand before you and I tell you by the message of the grace that I've received God will not only take away that destiny their life will pay for it in the name of Jesus Christ please cover them strategically father in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit everyone under the sound of my voice lord as they come under the influence of this oil i decree and declare that let the fire from heaven not only fall upon their life but turn every situation that must be changed around in the name of jesus for those online i pray for the various oils you are carrying in the name of Jesus, as you anoint yourself and your loved ones, let the embargo of darkness, no matter how long it has been, let it break now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please, let's have people, let's have them come quickly, quickly. You can start coming. Um, just coordinate them. I, I honestly don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll have to find a way. Yes, you can find a way of, even if it's for you to come and... We can start from here and then you come and go or do whatever it is please very very quickly make sure you are praying in the spirit hallelujah praise the lord now listen listen i want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly just find someone find a neighbor somewhere The next our time is gone but in the next three minutes all i want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just blast in the spirit 
Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Just go ahead and pray. Shabata kata baraka toka shada baraka baraka. Jesus, lay your hands on your head. Fire is burning in this place. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare in this season, may the glory of the Lord that is upon my head begin to speak now. Open your mouth and pray. Now, O oh Lord. Are a shield, you are my glory, you are the lifter, the lifter, a man's head can be lifted. Shake it, take up to Parakatos, Shabaratoka Sadabakata. I declare the glory of the Lord upon my head be lifted. Hallelujah. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Say in the name of Jesus. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny. Say it again. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken now. Lift your voice and pray. Every chain, every chain, every chain. Alakato shabakata, rakata sate kato shekete, rekete kete dekete kete bos. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. I speak to the forces of creation. Hear my voice. Align yourself and cause the word of God to walk in my life. Lift your voice and pray. We speak to the elements of creation and the stars fought for the border and the stars fought for the border and the sun and the moon fought for Joshua and the earth fought for the woman. 
command the elements of creation. Align yourself. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. Say it again. All oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. It is out of you that trees grow. Therefore, I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. said I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go just do what I'm asking you to do stretch your hands in the name of Jesus I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, For out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare come out now lift your voice and pray every treasure hallelujah hallelujah we are going to round up don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing i want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results are we together are we together i'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of jesus i prophesy to the north say it i prophesy to the north I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Just place your hand again on your head. Now, you are finished praying. Let me pray now. Any spirit that comes with ancestry, any spirit, hear my voice. You are a product of ancestry. 
sent and programmed for the from the fathers to oppress the people of God right now by fire I declare by fire I declare by fire release their glory now I declare by fire every legal ground I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ the spirits of delay that sit upon people's destinies so they don't move forward right now in the name of Jesus may the power of the Holy Ghost through this oil you have made contact with command those devils to live now the spirits of barrenness not just biological barrenness that makes that nothing works in your life you study, you go and write exams, you fail. You get money, you do business, you fail. You get a job, they fire you. In the name of Jesus, I command by the power of the Holy Spirit, may that devil live your life now and forever. <laughs> Ladies, I'm praying for you now. There is a spirit that draws only married men or wicked ungodly men to certain sisters they don't know why no responsible person comes to you right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is in this category i command that devil come out of them now come out of them now come out of them now any spirit husband, any spirit wife, any demonic entity manipulated.